Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the Kaylee Throw, which uh, you can see here in the photo in front of you. There's also lots of other photos on richtexturescrochet.com. And I have a corner of my sample one here that I have worked up for you. Now this is a beautiful textured crochet blanket. It's this is an advanced crochet pattern because of all of these textured stitches that it features in the throw. Uh, it is worked all as one piece. So today in the video I'm going to try and break it down for you so that you understand how each of the five uh, kind of panels work uh, even though they are worked all as one. So you're going to have three of these cable designs and then two of the Celtic weave stitch. So the Kaylee throw is fun to work. Uh, you're going to need about 20 balls of this Bravo worsted weight yarn. It's a 100% acrylic by We Crochet and Knit Picks and I want to take a moment to thank them for providing the yarn for this blanket and video tutorial today. So uh, each of these balls has approximately 218 yards and again you're going to need about 20 of them. You're also going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and it will be very helpful to have a copy of the written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. You'll find direct links in the description of this video for all of these items. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to take a look around, subscribe, say hello down in the comments, and I look forward to seeing all of your finished Kaylee throws. Now, as I mentioned, our blanket is worked all as one piece, so we're, and it's worked in rows. We're going to start by making a foundation chain. Just one more note before I begin. Uh, in the photos in my sample, I used this color Dublin, which is a beautiful deep green and very fitting for the name Kaylee Throw. Uh, for the video today, I'm going to be using this sky blue simply because it's going to be easier for you to see the stitches here on camera. So to begin start by making your slip knot and then by working a foundation chain your foundation chain needs to be 183 chains. Your finished blanket today is going to be about 45 by 55 inches. So go ahead and chain 183 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked of 183 chains, you're going to start row one by working a double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook and then into each stitch all the way across. So double crochet into the fourth chain and then each across your chain three at the beginning does count as a double crochet stitch. So at the end of this row you'll have a total of 181 stitches including that double crochet, uh, that chain three. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin to add some of that texture to our blanket. So you're going to start by working a half double crochet into the first stitch. Your first and last stitches are always going to be half double crochet stitches. In your rows. You're then going to work a back post double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. To work your back post double crochet yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook working around the post of the next stitch from the back 
across the front, out through the back again, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more. You're going to do that for six more stitches, so you have a total of seven back post double crochet stitches. Next, you're going to work a half double crochet stitch in each of the next 27 stitches. So now we're just working it into the tops of our stitches and you want to work uh, one half double crochet in each of the next 27 stitches. There's 20, and 27. Once you've worked your 27 half double crochet stitches, you're going to work in a back post double crochet stitch in each of the next five stitches. And five. We're now going to work some of the Celtic weave pattern. Uh, when we're working this, we're working all back post stitches again because this is going to put our texture on to this front side. Another thing to note when you're working this pattern that the row two, so this row that we are working, is going to be uh, the same every other row. So you'll have your row two, then row three, and then repeat row two, then row four, then uh, sorry, repeat row two for row four, then row five, and then to go back and repeat row two again for row six and so forth. So when you, when you've worked uh, your five back post double crochets, we're now ready to start this Celtic weave stitch. We're going to begin by skipping uh, each, or sorry, working a half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So there's one and two. We're now going to skip the next two stitches and work one back post double crochet around each of the next two stitches. So skip those next two and then around this third one work your first back post double crochet and then work one more back post double crochet. You're then going to work behind the last two stitches worked, which is actually going to be the front. But you're going to work behind them and work a back post double crochet in each of the skipped stitches, starting with that first one that you skipped. So yarn over, bring your hook in behind the stitches just worked, Insert it around the post of that first skipped stitch and work the back post double crochet. You're going to do that one more time around the second skipped stitch, another back post 
double crochet. So when you look at the front of your work, it's going to look like these stitches are crossed over one another. We're going to repeat that all the way across. So skip the next two stitches. Over the next two, work one back post double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then working behind the stitches just worked, you're going to reach back into this first skip stitch, work a back post double crochet, followed by one more back du post double crochet in the second skip stitch, and then repeat. Skip the next two stitches, back post double crochet, and back post double crochet, work in behind, and work a back post double crochet around each of those skipped stitches. You want to work that repeat for a total of seven times. So I've now worked three of them. I'm going to keep working across and work the repeat seven times. So two back post, working behind into the first skip stitch, back post double, and repeat. That's four. and five. Six. and seven. So this is what it's looking like from the back. You have your seven repeats. Flip it over in the front you have some of that cross cable texture coming through. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by a back post double crochet in each of the next five stitches. We're now going to go back and beginning at that half double crochet in each of the next 27 stitches at that part of the pattern, we're going to repeat that whole section once more. So half double crochet in each of the next 27 stitches, five back post double crochets, two half double crochets, your seven repeats of the Celtic weave texture, uh, and then two more half double crochets, five back post double crochets, and then you can meet me back here. So uh, if you haven't already, run and grab the written pattern because it will help you to follow along uh, as I go here. So go ahead, work beginning from that 27 half double crochets once more. So repeat that whole section and then meet me back here. So at the end of that row two, once you've finished that repeat once more, you'll have about 35 stitches remaining. And we're going to half double crochet into each of the next 27 stitches. You 
there's 10. And 20. Twenty-five, twenty-six, and twenty-seven. We're going to finish off this row uh, with a back post double crochet around each of the next seven stitches. and then a half double crochet into your final stitch. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to begin row three by working a half double crochet in the first stitch, followed by a front post double crochet around each of the next seven stitches. This part of the pattern again remains the same throughout. And we're now going to, after you've worked your seven front post double crochets, we're going to work the first section of our braided cable design. So for this, if you're looking at the written pattern, I have divided up the written instructions uh, for the cable design followed by the Celtic weave design just to make it a little bit easier because the written patterns are fairly lengthy. For this cable design in row three, we're going to half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. We're now going to work some front post double treble stitches working over top of the next three stitches and into the stitches that are two rows below or around the posts of those stitches. So to work the front post double treble stitch, if it helps to make sure that you're keeping them in line, just make sure you're skipping the next four double crochets down below and two rows below and you're going to yarn over three times then into around the post of that next stitch working over top of the half double crochet bring your hook in front insert your hook around the post of that stitch from the front through to the back out through the front again yarn over drop a loop yarn over and pull through two loops four times. That's your front post double treble stitch. You will want to do that two more times so you'll have a total of three of them. Each time working around the post of the stitch that's two rows below. You're then going to, because you've worked over top of those next three stitches up in your row up top, you're going to half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So if you're looking at the top of your work, you're skipping those three, then working three half double crochet stitches. We're now going to work three more front post double treble stitches. So again, just for this row, make sure that they're lining up properly and that you're skipping three double crochets, two rows below. But yarn over three times, bring your hook, insert around the post of that double crochet, two rows below, 
and you want to work a total of three of them. Next, this time up top, we're going to work one half double crochet into the next stitch, followed by three more double treble stitches, working them around the posts of the stitches two rows below. Up top, work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches, followed by three more front post double treble stitches, one into each of the next three stitches. Again, you're inserting your hook two rows below. We're going to then finish off this section by working four more half double crochets. So one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And that brings us to our the end of our cable design pattern. You're then going to work one front post double crochet stitch around each of the next five stitches. Which brings you to your Celtic weave section. For the Celtic weave section of row 3, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into each of the first two stitches. You're then going to work a front post double crochet stitch around each of the next two stitches. So these are the stitches that look like they're crossed over in front. Just work one front post double crochet around the first one and a front post double crochet around the second one. You're then going to skip the next two stitches and these are the two stitches that are kind of tucked in back here. So skip those two stitches and front post double crochet around the next two stitches. Now working in front of the stitches you just worked, so these two stitches here working in front of them, we're going to work front post double crochet stitches around the stitches that we skipped. So you may have to pull them out a little bit here, but working in front, bring your hook in front, a front post double crochet around that first skipped stitch, and a front post double crochet around the second. We're now going to repeat those last four stitches all the way across. So skip the next two stitches, work a front post double crochet around the next two stitches. Sorry, I shouldn't have said all the way across, just all the way across this uh, Celtic weave section. We're going to do this repeat six times. Okay, so front post, then over the skip stitches, working in front of the stitches just worked, front post double crochet. And repeat that again. Skip the next two stitches, front post double crochet around each of the next two, and then over 
working over the ones in front of the ones you just worked, front post double crochet around the skipped ones. Continue until you've worked that uh, repeat for a total of six times. So you sh and you should have uh, two post stitches remaining once you come all the way across. I just have one more repeat. When you come to the end of this section, you will have two more stitches remaining tucked in back here. So you want to work one front post double crochet around each of the posts of those remaining two stitches. Half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Work one front post double crochet around each of the next five stitches. And now going back all the way across to where we worked uh, this first part of our braided cable, we're going to repeat beginning with that half double crochet in each of the next four stitches, then your double trebles all the way across, and then repeat that Celtic weave section. And then you can meet me back here. Once you have worked that repeat one more time, so we have two cable panels started and two Celtic weave panels started, we're going to repeat once more our cable design, so half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by a front post double treble stitch in each of the next three stitches. Half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Front post treble and over each of the next, or double treble over each of the next three stitches. Inserting your hook around the post of the stitch two rows below. Half double crochet into the next stitch followed by three front post trebles, double trebles over the next three stitches. Half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Then we have the last part of our cable here to work. One front post double treble stitches over each of the next three stitches. Worked into the posts, around the posts of the stitches two rows below. One half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then finish off your row three with 
one front post double crochet around each of the next seven stitches half double crochet into your final stitch chain one and turn your work you're now all set to begin row four at the end of row three chain one and turn your work the back side of your blanket is now facing you and for row four we're simply going to repeat our row two. So every other row from here on end is going to be a repeat of row two, half double crochet into that first stitch, followed by your seven back post double crochet stitches, and then your half double crochets across, and so forth. So go ahead, repeat row two, and meet me back here. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. For row five, the right side of our work is now facing. You're going to begin by working a half double crochet into that first stitch, followed by one front post double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. Now one thing to note as you are working this blanket the sides of your throw where these front post double crochet stitches are will eventually start to curl under but don't worry when we put the edging on our blanket they will straighten out again. Once you've worked your seven front post double crochet stitches, you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. We are now working our braided cable design. Next, working over top of the next three stitches, we're going to work front post double trebles around each of the front post double trebles two rows below. So we are bringing our hook back a little bit and we want to work our front post double treble around that first uh, front post double treble two rows below and then repeat for each of the next two You're then going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch up top and then skip the next three stitches. Okay, so you've worked your half double crochet, skip the next three stitches and that includes the front post trebles down below. We're going to begin working over the next few stitches by working front post double trebles across the front of our work. Okay, so yarn over three times, then reach across. You're skipping the first three front post double trebles into the next one. Work a front post double treble and repeat for the next two. Now back up top, we've skipped these first three stitches, 
half double crochet into the next stitch. We're now going to be working in front of the double trebles just work and working back, in, back into our skipped double trebles. So if you yarn over three times, bring your hook way back, insert it under the post of that first skipped double treble stitch and work the stitch and repeat for each of the next two skipped stitches. So you should look like your stitches are crossed over in front. Back up top, you skip those next three stitches and half double crochet into that next stitch. You're then going to, working over top of the next three stitches, work front post double trebles around each of the next three front post double treble stitches, two rows below. Up top here, half double crochet into the next stitch and into each of the next five stitches. So you should have a total of six half double crochet stitches. Front post, double crochet around each of the next five stitches. And you then come to your Celtic weave design. Now this part of the pattern, and anytime you come to this Celtic weave design, and the front side of your work is facing, it's always worked the same in these odd stitched rows. So we have our two half double crochet stitches. And then you're going to front post double crochet over each of the next two. Then skip the next two stitches, which are kind of tucked in back here, and work a front post double over each of the next two stitches. Now working in front and back into the two stitches that you skipped work a front post double crochet around the posts of those two skipped stitches. I'm going to repeat that, skip two, work one front post double in each of the next two stitches and then a front post double in the two stitches that uh, in each of the two stitches that you just skipped and so forth all the way across. You're then at the repeat point of the pattern. So you're going to go back, repeat your cable pattern, repeat your Celtic weave pattern, repeat the cable pattern once more, work your seven front post double crochet stitches, a half double crochet in that final stitch and then chain one and turn. Again, if it helps, grab the free written pattern on richtexturescrochet.com and uh, that will help you remember the repeats as we go along. So meet me back here when you reach the end of your row five. At the end of row five, you chain one and turn your work. For row six, you're going to, once again, repeat row two, half double crochet in that first stitch, followed by your seven 
front uh, back post double crochet stitches and then your half double crochet stitches across and so forth so uh, for row six simply repeat that row two at the end of row six chain one and turn your work now for the rest of the tutorial of the tutorial because uh, our pattern is the same when we reach our Celtic weave and because every even numbered row is exactly the same it's a repeat of row two uh, for the rest of the tutorial I'm just going to focus on this uh, one cable design and then just realize that you'll need to continue each of the rows uh, uh, following and repeat the row two in between. So for row seven for our cable design, you've chained one. We're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and then front post double crochet around each of the first seven front post double crochet stitches. You are then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. We're now here at our cable design. We're going to skip the next three stitches, work over top of them, and as well we're going to skip the next front three front post double treble stitches and work our next front post double treble stitches into the next set of three. So yarn over three times and you're going to reach all the way over. So you've skipped the first three front post double trebles into the next one insert your hook and work your stitch. Repeat for the next and all the way across again for that third. You're then going to up top you've worked over top of three so half double crochet into your next stitch. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We are going to be working in behind the stitches that we just worked. So you're going to want to pull them ahead a little bit and we're going to be working back into these three skipped double treble stitches. So yarn over three times, insert your hook in behind those three stitches just worked, grab a hold of that first double treble and work your first front post double treble stitch. And then you're going to do the same, reach in behind, grab that second skip stitch and work a front post double treble and one more time in behind the three stitches just worked pick up the post of that next skip stitch and work a front post double treble so once you're done this is what it's going to look like you have your stitches crossed over one uh, one uh, each other up top then you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat that. Skip the next three front post double treble stitches. Working over top of your next three stitches, reach across front post double treble in each of those next three stitches.
half double crochet in the next stitch up top. Now reaching in behind and under the stitches just worked, work a front post double treble stitch around each of the posts of those first three sti skipped stitches. Up top, half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And that's what it should look like there. I skipped a stitch back here. Then work your five front post double crochet stitches followed by your Celtic weave and uh, finish with the repeats. You're then going to repeat row two for your row eight and then meet me back here at the end of row eight. For row nine You've chained one, turned your work, I'm going to half double crochet into that first stitch, followed by your seven front post double crochet stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. We're now going to work over the next three stitches and work a front post double treble stitch over each of the next front post double treble stitches down below. Half double crochet into your next stitch. And now skipping the next three front post double treble stitches, you're going to work a front post double treble stitch around each of the next three front post double treble stitches. half double crochet into the next stitch up top. Now this time working in front of the stitches just worked, you're going to work a front post double treble by reaching back and working it around the post of each of those first three skip stitches. So you may need to push them forward a little bit because they're kind of hiding under the other stitches that were worked over them. Half 
double crochet into your next stitch up top. You should have those two crossed over in the middle. You're then going to work one front post double treble stitch around the posts of each of the next three front post double treble stitches. Half double crochet into the next stitch up top and each of the next five stitches. So you'll have a total of six uh, half double crochet stitches. Then work your front post double crochet stitches and continue across the row. For row 10, repeat your row 2. After you've made it all the way across for row 9, and then meet me back here at the end of row 10. For row 11, this is what your work looks like so far. We're going to half double crochet into the first stitch and work a front post double crochet around each of the next seven stitches. Next half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And now on to our cables. We're going to begin by skipping the first three front post double treble stitches and reaching over across into around the post of the next three, work one front post double treble stitch. So we're now working across into the next ones. We skipped the first three. Half double crochet into the next stitch. Now working in behind the front post trebles just worked, you're going to reach back and work one front post double treble stitch around the post of each of the first three stitches, the three skip stitches. So reaching all the way back under the stitches just worked. Up top, half double crochet into the next stitch. Your stitches should look like they're crossed over top of one another. And we're now going to repeat that. So skip the next three front post double treble stitches. Work one front post double treble around the posts of each of the next three stitches. Now working behind and under the stitches you just, uh, sorry, got ahead of myself there. Double, half double crochet into the next stitch. And then working in behind 
and under those stitches just worked work a front post double treble stitch around each of the three skipped front post double treble crochet stitches two rows below You're then going to up top half double crochet into each of your next six stitches followed by your front post double crochet stitches and continue your row across for row 11 chain one turn your work and then for row 12 you're once again going to repeat your row two. This is what our cable design looks like so far. So meet me back here once you have completed row 12. For row 13, this is what your cable looks like so far. For row 13, we're going to begin with a half double crochet into our first stitch, followed by your seven front post double crochet stitches you're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. Next work one front post double treble stitch over top of each of the next three stitches and working in or around the posts of the next three double treble stitches two rows below. Now up top you've worked over those next three stitches so in the next three stitches you're going to work a half double crochet. Next skip the next three double treble stitches and into the next three stitches work one front post double treble stitch in each. So we're skipping these three that are tucked in behind, reaching across, working a front post double treble stitch around each of those three stitches. Up top you're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. Now working in front of the stitches just worked and in around the posts of the double treble stitches just skipped, you're going to work one from post double treble around each of those skipped stitches. So starting with the furthest one away, the first skipped one, Work a double treble. Up top, you've worked over those next three stitches. So into the next three half double crochet, uh, three half double crochet stitches, you're going to work one half double crochet in each. 
So one half double in each of the next three stitches. We have three double treble stitches left. We're going to work one double treble stitch in each of those remaining stitches two rows below. Up top, you're going to work one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And that should bring you back to your front post double crochet stitches. So you're going to work one in each of the next five and then continue as you have before, finishing row 13 with your Celtic weave another panel of your braided cables, more Celtic weave, and braided cables again. At the end of this row 13, you're going to uh, chain one, turn your work, and for rows 14 onward, you're going to repeat rows two, so that was our return row, through to 13, 11 more times. Uh, and to make it easy to count, you're going to have in total uh, 12 of these center pieces here. So you're going to continue these repeats. You're going to end off on uh, a row 13 and uh, then get ready for your edging. And you can either leave it attached or you can fasten off it's really up to you. But continue working uh, until you finish your repeats and then meet me back here for the edging. Now for the edging of your blanket, now I haven't, um, I don't have the completed blanket here, I'm just working with that swatch that I was showing you, but um, this will just give you an idea of how to work the edging for this blanket. It is a textured edging with a double crochet ribbing. So what we're going to do is join. Uh, I joined in the top right corner of your blanket and you're going to chain three and your chain three will count as a stitch. For round one, it is worked in rounds. You're going to work a double crochet stitch in each stitch across the top of your blanket all the way across to your corner. So simply work one double crochet in each stitch all the way across the top. In round one when you come to your first corner you're going to work three double crochet stitches all into that corner stitch. And this is going to bring you around to the rough side of your blanket. You're then going to, and yours is much longer than mine, you're going to work 200 double crochet stitches evenly along this long edge. If it helps, you can divide it, say, into four and work 50 stitches in between. You just want to have it even. You can also change the number of stitches that you have uh, on this long ed edge. Just make sure that you make note of it and mark it down so that you can have the same number of stitches along the other side. So you're going to just evenly work your double crochet stitches into the edge. There's no uh, exact place to put your hook. You're just putting it where it's comfortable and work your stitches all the way across. When you come to your next corner, you will work three double crochet stitches in your next corner. Work all the way across the 
uh, opposite end of your blanket, three in the corner, and then work the same number of stitches along the other rough edge, uh, ending with two double crochets in that corner stitch. Join with a slip stitch and uh, chain one. At the end of round one, you're joining with a slip stitch into that first stitch, so you should have worked your double crochet stitches all the way around. You're now going to work rounds two, three, four, and five, so the next four rounds, and they are all worked the exact same way. So what you're going to do is start by working a chain one. You do not turn your work. You're going to begin by working a double front post double crochet into the first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that front post double crochet into the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet. You're going to work that all the way across to your corner stitch. Your corner stitch is that second stitch in that set of three that you worked into your corner. When you come to that corner stitch, you're going to work a, uh, let me see here, a back post double crochet, front post double crochet, and a back post all around the post of the same corner stitch. If um, you've changed your stitch counts or for whatever reason um, you come to that corner and you've just worked a back post, then instead of working a back post, you want to work a front post double crochet followed by a back post and then a front post. I'll show you uh, what I mean <laughs> exactly when I come across here on my own sample. Okay, so I'm now on, still on row two, round two, and I've come across to my corner. So I have three stitches there in the corner. I'm going to work a front post, double crochet in the next. And then around this center stitch, I'm going to work my three stitches. So beginning, because I worked a front post, double crochet here, I need a back post to begin with. So I'm going to work a back post, double crochet, around that center stitch, followed by a front post around that same center stitch, and then one more back post double crochet around that same stitch, so you have all three worked into that center stitch. Again, if for whatever reason you ended on a back post, then you'll want to just start with the front post uh, in that corner stitch. So I've ended a back post here. I'm going to keep going around, working a front post next, and then alternate again between my back and front post stitches all the way around to the next corner, and then repeat. You're going to do this for a total of four rounds. Uh, your next three rounds, you're always going to be working your front post double crochets around your front post double crochets and back post double crochets into the back post stitches. Uh, always again when you come to your corner stitch work it as you did before with the three stitches in one and then continue on. When you come to your first stitch of each round join with a slip stitch in the first stitch, chain one and keep going. After you've worked four rounds of your front and back post double crochets, your blanket is then complete. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and do any blocking if you need to. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to work the Kaylee throw. Be sure to say hello in the comments, and uh, tag me if you happen to share your finished blanket. I would love to see it. 
So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.